Justin Bieber followers are concerned that the singer's social media sobbing photo meltdown is related to his boyhood association with scandal-hit U.S. rapper P. Diddy, who is under investigation for sex trafficking. Please be praying for Justin Bieber. People are wondering if it's a sign that he might be in a crisis. He's reported to be acting erratically and strange. This might be connected directly to P. Diddy. The bad boy. Oh, he's bad boy now. He's bad boy now. Friends are worried that he's spiraling again. Okay, so look at this. So it's JB drinking, right? Whatever. And if you guys don't know, he's partying with Diddy. You'll see. There's Diddy. It comes after a video of teenage Justin Bieber hanging out with P. Diddy leaked. Fans of Justin Bieber today expressed concern that the singer's social media meltdown is related to his boyhood association with troubled U.S. rapper P. Diddy. During an interview at The Breakfast Club. He said he said something to me one time, a long time ago. At Chris Lighty's wedding, he told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let me move, man, before I do something. You're going to make me mess up the wedding. Oh, that's a nice gesture. Let's Let me get out of no, the that, take me, that's still what a guy oh, says to a girl. Nice. The 30-year-old musician stirred worry over the weekend by uploading a series of photographs on Instagram in which he was in tears. In one, the sad singer glanced straight at the camera, a tear flowing down his cheek. Meanwhile, Justin's wife, Haley Bieber, took a controlled position and wrote a remark under the thread, calling her husband a pretty crier. Nonetheless, her statement did not detract from the reality that most worried fans saw it as a sign of something deeply troubling. Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you wanna do? What you wanna do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna? Let's just go get some girls. Let's go ahead and get some girls. A man after my heart. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Many fans have also linked the growing number of warning flags concerning his mental health to his alleged early links as an adolescent musician with notorious hip hop mogul Diddy. Coombs, 54, is now under federal investigation for suspected sex trafficking. Footage of Combs hanging out with a 15-year-old Bieber surfaced last month after the rapper's houses were raided as part of the inquiry. There was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was doing molly, um, you know, shrooms, everything. And it was just an escape from me. Again, when you get 18, you get the house. You get the mansion. Okay, I get the mansion. Fans are concerned that unsettling video footage circulating online may have contributed to his fast decline. Amid the police inquiry, a 14-year-old video from Bieber's YouTube channel resurfaced in which Diddy discusses spending 48 hours with the baby star. The scary piece from when Bieber was 15 and Combs was 39 shows, Diddy informing the camera that the two would spend 48 hours together in his Los Angeles home but he can't say what they'll do. <laughs> it looks like Diddy is asking him if he has a wire. Justin says no. Then Diddy checks to see if he has a wire. Yo, this is some sick sh So apparently Justin Bieber. The video started with Combs lecturing to Bieber about driving. As soon as you become 16, you know what I mean? I'm going to let you rock this every time you come to LA, Combs says Bieber while displaying a Lamborghini beneath a tarp. As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every time you come to LA. Yeah, it's gonna be yours. So, every oh, time you come okay. to LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, I'm completely front shot it. Man. Man, Woo. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so so I'm gonna be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down and you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15. Thing. You could ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. No. All right, no, 16. No, no, 16. Slow right. down. Let's slow down, Josh. Okay. Let's okay. slow down. Okay. One, one step at a time. But yeah. Combs lifts the cover and Bieber says, I mean, I'm 15. You could sit in the passenger seat. I received my permit. You're not ready yet, Combs informs Bieber. Slow down, slow down, Justin. In the morning, and the first thing I was doing is popping pills and smoking a blunt and starting my day. I basically said to myself, oh my God, if you're real, you get me through this season of stopping these pills and stuff. And if you do, I'll do the rest of the work. Combs addresses the camera. Have you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? He's currently spending 48 hours with Diddy, and he and his child are enjoying the time of their lives. We can't say where we're hanging out or what we're doing, but it's certainly a 15-year-old's fantasy. I have been granted custody of him. I was sipping lean. I was popping pills. I was doing molly, um, you know, shrooms, everything. And it was just an escape. I mean... Doesn't that sound like Diddy's influence? We can connect these dots because Justin was signed to Usher when he started his music career. After performing for Usher at the studio, it didn't take long for Usher to sign him, giving Diddy access to Justin because Usher was mentored and groomed by Diddy. As we clearly saw, it didn't go well for Justin. According to him, he said he wanted to have a sustainable heart and career. He also told fans that he didn't want to fall apart as he needed to fix some deep-rooted issues in his life and thanks to his wife Haley and other people around him he had all the support he needed to fight off the bad influence from his teenage years and a male accuser although he has not identified himself has alleged the circumstances surrounding what he says is exposure to general herpes by Usher. The two of them obviously had some form of sexual contact, which makes us believe that Usher might be gay, just like his mentor, who probably is also gay. And it is possible that if Usher wasn't exposed to the lifestyle he lived while he was a young and naive teenager, he'd probably have a different lifestyle choice. Combs also mentions that Bieber was signed to Usher's company then. I had legal guardianship of Usher when he made his first album, and I did Usher's first album, Combs says Bieber. I do not have legal guardianship of Justin, but he is with me for the next 48 hours. Combs claims he and Bieber went buck full wild during their time together. When asked what he intended to do with the time, Bieber said, let's grab some females. This on Twitter. Justin Bieber has become one of the biggest superstars in the world. I met him when he was playing his guitar outside on the street. I'm honored to call him a dear friend and a brother. I never had the chance to work with him until now. God is the greatest. 48 hours. Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but, um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did Usher's yes. first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna? Let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang with some girls. A man after my heart. That's what I'm talking about, kid. Man after my heart. Combs claims that is what I am talking about. In another video, Diddy and Bieber are seen together in a recording studio where Bieber is thought to be working on his 2010 debut album, My World 2.0. What's up, man? Are you good? Combs asks Bieber, who appears uneasy as the older singer glances at him through tinted sunglasses. Selling arenas and everything? You're starting to act differently, huh? You have been phoning me or hanging together less than we used to. Bieber shuffles his feet and murmurs, Well, I mean, you haven't... You attempted to reach me via all of my you know, partners and stuff, but you have yet to get my phone number. So you want my phone number? I'm going to give you my number. Why was PDD doing this to Justin Bieber? Many people were saying it almost looked like he was checking to see if Justin is wired up.
then this is where PDD goes to say something to him secretly and many people are saying Justin wanted to leave as he walked fast into his car after that conversation and let me know your thoughts on this. Another 26 second tape from several years later was shot at a party. A woman can be heard saying, Happy birthday, Justin. Diddy handed Justin a bottle, and the singer dropped to one knee and drank from it. The video then switches to additional scenes from the party, with Justin and Diddy dancing and cameras flashing. It is thought that the video was filmed between 2015 and 2016, while Justin was in his late teens. Justin and Haley married in 2018, and since then there have been frequent rumors of marital problems. The 57-year-old Usual Suspects actor requested a small prayer for them to have knowledge, protection, and get near the Lord. In addition to the criminal probe, Diddy is the defendant in several recent sexual assault cases. He picked up uh, some things from up here on my left side, and then he, he picked like a, quite a few of them down. I'm like, okay. He put them in the bag. So when I went by there, and I looked up there, I, and it said butt plugs. And I was like, hey, yo. <laughs> now, all these things seem inconsequential, but they just might point us to the truth behind all these allegations. But Cassie, Combs' former protege and lover, sued him in November, alleging years of sexual abuse, including rape. Combs settled the lawsuit the next day. The complaint claimed he pushed her to have sex with male prostitutes while filming them. In February, a music producer sued Combs, saying that he pushed him into soliciting prostitutes and pressuring him to have sex with them. Another of Combs' accusers was a woman who said he assaulted her at the age of 17 two decades ago. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, 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 ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's five, five, five. Combs and his lawyers have disputed all of the claims in the cases. Following the federal raids, Combs's representatives issued a statement calling them a gross misuse of military-level force. There is no reason for the authorities' disproportionate use of force and hostility, as well as the treatment of his children and staff. Mr. Combs was never jailed, but he did speak to and cooperate with officials. Despite media conjecture, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been detained, and their freedom to travel has not been hindered in any manner. That's all for the video, folks.